Hey everyone, I'm Danny and welcome to Wizardry Workshop. I am super excited about today's video because I'm opening the Wizarding Trunk and this is the Wizarding Trunk Presents uh, the Owlery, where they're going to be doing a series of boxes going over different magical subjects. And this is a bi-monthly box. And I am also designing some exclusive items for each and every one of these. If you don't want spoilers on this, just skip the next two minutes or one minute or something. So here, here go the spoilers. Much in the same fashion as what I did with the Accio box, I am designing a special book cover for the next seven boxes of the Owlery, or the Wizarding Trunk presents the Owlery. Owlery. Owl Owlery. These book covers are going to be um, kind of similar in as much as they have gold foiling and they're designed to look like magical books, but they're completely different subjects uh, than what we had in the Accio box. And um, the style is gonna be a little bit different. Like I said, they'll all be foiled, but it's not just gold foiling, not just silver foiling. We're gonna have uh, some different types of uh, foiling colors on these books as well. If you want to subscribe to The Wizarding Trunk, I have a link in the description box below that can take you to where you want to be. Why, is it, why did I say that? If you'd like to subscribe to The Wizarding Trunk and get all of my exclu exclusive, uh, if you want to subscribe to The Wizarding Trunk and get all of my exclusive book covers over the next seven boxes, I have a link in the description box below. Without any further ado, let's get this open. Okay, so here's the first look inside here. And we have a sheet of runes. <clears throat> so this is, uh, yeah, it tells you what all these different runes mean, which is pretty cool. And then on the other side, it says the wizarding trunk. Okay, so this is the spoiler card on this side, but the uh, theme of this trunk is herbology and ancient runes. So let's set that aside. We don't wanna look at that just yet and see what else we have inside this box. So I've already seen one thing and I know exactly what it is. I'm pretty excited to see that. So um, let's go ahead and take those out now. So right here we have these pink earmuffs so that, you know, you can be safe when, when you uh, handle Mandrake. How do I look? I don't know. I like them. Let's continue on. Next we have, oh, hey, wait, we have a potion that is stuck to, ooh, oh. Yeah, it's sticky. It's actually, it's spilled. So that's unfortunate. Um, it's stink sap. It doesn't stink really, but it is sappy for sure. That's really unfortunate. I don't know how it happened. Um, the glass doesn't seem to be cracked. It looks like it all just kind of came out the top where the uh, cork is. So it looks like we have stink sap right here, as well as uh, a face mask right here with some uh, different herb, magical herbs. But yeah, that's really unfortunate. I'm gonna have to wash that off and hopefully salvage that. Um, but let's set that over on the floor. Okay, um, I'm actually gonna go wash my hands. Hands are washed, I'm good, let's keep going. So here we have a venomous tentacula seedlings. Oh cool, so it's supposed to be like venomous tentacula seeds. That's a really cool idea. I like the label too. It looks very uh, vintage, very like a vintage seed label, like kind of what you would get when you, uh, like in the newspaper or something, it would come with like uh, seeds and it is taped shut. I wonder if we should open it. Yeah, we should open it. Okay, here we go. What's in here? Oh, it is coffee. This is coffee and it smells great. Oh, the caffeinated wizard go. I think we'll probably get some more information about this on the cheat sheet card. It doesn't really say much about like what kind of coffee it is. So yeah, we'll see. Right, setting that one aside, let's see. Did the stuff get on anything else down here? What's this? Ooh, ooh. Oh, this is cool. This is like a little bag of actual rune stones. This is a really cool idea. Let's see what we have. 
Oh yeah, and they're not just like drawn on here. They are actually etched into these little stones. They are actually etched in here. Very, very cool. I wouldn't expect something like that. That's a really cool thing to get. So let's just put those aside. That's like, so far, I think these rune stones are my favorite thing out of this box. But I really do like those pink earmuffs. Okay, let's see. We have a spray hand sanitizer. Oh, okay. The rune Iwas. Iwas, I'm not sure how to pronounce that. Sorry, guys. The rune Iwas or Iwas represents strength, reliability, dependability, trustworthiness, enlightenment, endurance, endurance, defense, and protection. So this is like hand sanitizer, which is very fitting for the times we're going through right now. It's a very rare uh, resource to, <laughs> to get. So yeah, we'll set that aside. Very cool. Next is a t-shirt, a Herbology t-shirt. And this says, let's see, I'll let you guys see it first. Okay, so this one says, oh, Herbology. <laughs> yeah, it's a Herbology t-shirt that says Herbology on it. And it has some different magical uh, plants and things on top of there. It looks like some carnivorous plants as well. Cool. Very cool. Let's see what else. There's still like more stuff in here. There's a lot of stuff in here, which is really cool. Um, we have some shriveled figs. Here we go, some shriveled figs. I like this. This is pretty cool. And it actually has like what appears to be shriveled figs inside the jar. <laughs> Very cool. How much more do we have in here? Looks like there's a print, my item here, and a pen. This is really cool. This is the greenhouse, as you can see, but it also has like the doors that open up and you can look inside the greenhouse with like the mandrakes inside there and stuff. That's neat. Okay, let's check out this print. Oh, nice. It is a mandrake print. Let's see. Try to get the glare off of that. There we go. I think this is actually a really cool print. I like the artwork and it's like a watercolor thing. Very, very neat. Good style. So now there's just one thing left and that is my item. So let's take a look at what it is. I already said what it is, but if you skip the spoiler, this is going to be a surprise. Okay, here we go. Nicely packaged. Oh, the paper feels pretty good. And uh, let's get it right side up, and here you guys go. Runes of the Ancient World. So this book was designed, it's a runes book, and I designed it based off of like, like old school books, but also tried to throw in that vintage look to it, like that 1940s, 50s style book covers for like school books and stuff and I thought that was a really neat idea. So as you can see it is gold foiled. Um, takes a lot of inspiration from Harry Potter of course and the quality of this is actually really good. Where the foil is you can kind of feel it's maybe it looks kind of raised but I don't I don't think it's actually raised but it looks that way and it looks really professional and, and really good. And you might be wondering what books they fit. And um, they do fit the same exact books that the Accio covers fit as well. So these are um, going to fit the American hardback first editions of Harry Potter, the Harry Potter series. This is for book one, of course, and they're going to go in order from here. Anyways, that's enough of uh, that. Let's go ahead and take a look at the spoiler card. So, of course, we have the Runes of the Ancient World book cover, which is an exclusive for the Wizarding Trunk. The Venomous Tentacula Seedlings, and it says this coffee and tea blend includes black tea, whole coffee, chicory, and milk chocolate chip. So, oh, that sounds delicious. Fuzzy pink earmuffs, don't forget to mind your earmuffs. Greenhouse 3 Pin is also an exclusive. Inside the greenhouse watercolor print of the Mandrake, which I really liked. The Bag of Runestones, and you can use this spoiler sheet, which is right here on the 
back to decide what rune stones actually mean. So that's pretty cool too. Tuwa's rune ne necklace, I didn't see that. Did I miss something? Oh, I did, I missed something. So there is also a necklace. Let's take a look at that. Oh, cool, and it's a metal necklace uh, and it has a rune etched into it. There's the metal necklace. Uh, the charm represents justice, leadership, and authority. The shriveled fig ingredient, uh, this magical plant has uh, powerful properties in potion making, bottled by Pure Blood Apothecary. Herbology shirt, which is another exclusive. The cloth face mask, which I didn't really uh, get to take a look at yet because the bottle of stink sap actually sapped all over it. And then the Iwas or Iwas hand sanitizer. We all know about that, I already read the label. And then there's a vial of stink sap. This recently procured vial of stink sap has many magical uses, such as aiding in nursing ill creatures back to health. This vial was bottled by Pure Blood Apothecary. Somehow it overflowed, and I, it doesn't look like it's bottled wrong or anything. It may have been just gotten too hot and sort of popped out a little bit, which makes sense because it has been extremely hot around here. It's been like in the low to mid 90s so yeah it's super hot and that's probably what happened if i had to guess anyways this is really cool um there's a lot of stuff in here that's 12 items in one box you don't usually see that so that's really amazing um now if i had to pick my favorites and if i can't pick my book cover because oh this turned out really good i love this and i can't wait to see what the next one looks like so definitely subscribe to Wizarding Trunk if you want more book of my book covers like this. So let's see, I think my favorite items were probably definitely the rune stones are one of my favorites. I really do like the pin, but I like the figs. It's all very cool, but the rune stones for sure. And I think maybe the pink earmuffs because it's actually like a prop replica almost, like a costume replica. Like you could use this in cosplay or like whatever. I'm gonna hang it up somewhere or put it up over on my shelf or maybe on my Snape cutout over there I could put the earmuffs on. I don't know, but we'll see. Um, so yeah, these are my two favorites. Let me know what your two favorites were out of this box. I'm really happy with it. I can't wait to get the next one. Let me know what you guys think. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Remember, I get a lot of ideas for these DIYs that I do from your comments. So if you have an idea for something that you want to see me do in the future, definitely leave a comment below and let me know. If you're interested in seeing more DIY videos having to do with Harry Potter and more, go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you're not already. Alright, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.